As the sun began to settle behind the mountains that formed the ancient barrier between the city of Damascus and the Mediterranean Sea, ground crewmen, maintainers, crew chiefs, and pilots eagerly awaited the return of the Royal Dimar Air Force F-16C Fighting Falcons that were assigned as wild weasels for the afternoon strike on the airfields deep inside Peron. The mascot of the base, a collie named Stevie was the first to hear the low rumble of incoming aircraft, and she jumped up and ran across the ramp to alert the ground personnel, eager for news of the strike they had all worked so tirelessly to facilitate. Many were napping in the last bits of sun for the day, dreaming of painting another Pirani roundel on the nose of their tiny but mighty F-16. As the jets approached, the hopeful eagerness soon turned to dread, as the men and women looking up into the sky saw just how few of their fighting falcons were returning. As the aircraft landed one by one and taxied to their ramp and shelters, news started to finally trickle in. A massively successful raid that had gutted the main combat strength of the Empire of Peron's Air Force's fighter fleet but at a terribly high cost for the Fighting Falcon squadrons. As Stevie, who belonged to one of the Viper pilots, was running from jet to jet and shelter to shelter, looking for her owner, barking and whining ever more desperately as she frantically tried to find her pilot, and when she couldn't find him among the sea of men and women swarming the aircraft, she became absolutely inconsolable. Running from anyone who tried to help calm her, she made her way out onto a taxiway and sat with her eyes and nose turned skyward for hours until the full moon replaced the setting sun. And until a pilot finally cautiously approached her and scooped her up in his arms and carried her inside the mess hall to try and calm the heartbroken but still hopeful mascot of the airbase. And that night everyone at Kalkala Airfield felt the same as their intrepid mascot, and others across the Kingdom of Daimar would feel the same as well. Far across the deserts and deep blue of the Mediterranean Sea, and deep in the heart of the Empire of Peron's capital city of Encirlik, the Sultan of Paran slowly stood after completing the evening prayers as the low droning of the call to prayer slowly faded. As he rose from his knees, he saw his finance and defense ministers walking towards him in a hurried and upset fashion. As they reached him, the defense minister bowed his head, looking dejected as he gave the Sultan the grim news of the massive strikes and air battles over the heart of the Empire of Peron, and finally gave the Sultan confirmation of the terrible rumors. His eldest son, an heir to the throne, was missing in the eastern deserts. His MiG-29 fulcrum having been downed by an AIM-120 AMRAAM, supposedly fired by the infamous and mysterious pilot simply known as the Colonel by Pirani air crews. The Sultan's heart sank and anger gripped his soul as the emotions of a thousand betrayals and broken promises since the inception of the Empire of Peron and his family's dynasty flooded his heart and he threw his cup of chai against the wall, shattering the ornate porcelain. He slowly walked to the balcony overlooking his prized airfield and Tupolev Tu-16 Badger bombers. He said slowly, my family was split in two by the great powers to rule the two kingdoms. And from the very beginning, the betrayals started. The Shahs of the South, our own blood, prostituted themselves to the West and destroyed our culture and the honor of all Arabs. They let the infidels walk freely amongst the holy cities of Jerusalem, Mecca, and Medina, and forgot the ways of the Prophet and his teachings in the Quran. My father, and his father before him, swore to liberate the holy cities, and I will not falter in this goal, and now my son is a martyr in this great jihad. 
Ministers, we must succeed where the prestigious Gamal Abdul Nasser of Egypt failed and unite the Muslim world to destroy the decadent and corrupt Shah in the south and liberate the Holy Land from the grips of the West and purge the land of the Jews and Christians. But to unite the Islamic nations of the world, we must finally knock the Americans out of the war for good. And in the pursuit of this goal, I will sacrifice the rest of our great and mighty Air Force. I know my pilots are more than ready to follow my beloved son into martyrdom if it means destroying the American carrier prowling off the coast of our homeland. The American public will never accept this and scream for their cowardly president to pull their rabid marines and airmen from the kingdom of infidels. In the officers' quarters and the lush green landscape surrounding Ramat David airfield, the colonel was abruptly awoken from his sleep in the early hours of the morning by the blaring emergency phone line. As he blinked away the fatigue of yesterday's great strikes, a voice on the line at the intelligence ministry told him to get onto a helicopter immediately to the RDNS Suez, now on station with the USS George Washington in the eastern Mediterranean. Human intel out of Encirlik had reported that Tupolev Tu-16 Badgers and Sukhoi Su-24 Fencers were being loaded with long-range anti-ship cruise missiles. After scrambling to board a fully loaded Mil Mi-8 hip heading for the RDNS Suez, one of the pilots tossed a headset back to the colonel. Over the radio, the staticky voice of the captain of the new aircraft carrier informed him that while the Shah wanted the colonel in the air of the Suez, the F-14 squadron on board could only find the colonel a flying slot in a Rio seat and that would have to do to fulfill the Shah's orders. As the hip slowly approached the Suez and then finally touched down on the deck of the new aircraft carrier, she bounced slightly on the soft shock absorbers customary of the Mi-8. The colonel saw the familiar sight of the beautiful tan and green tomcats bathed in the eerie glow of the ship's island as red shirts scrambled around the deck to load the large AIM-54 Sea Phoenix missiles onto the tomcats' pallets. And the colonel said under his breath, it's time to defend the fleet. All right, boys and girls, uh, we're gonna need to keep this briefing pretty short here. We're a little short on time. We've gotta get jets up into the air as soon as possible. And we're a little bit short on formal mission planning for today since we've been kind of thrown into this situation. I'm sure the US Navy off of the USS George Washington has already beat us up into the air and beat us to those bar cap stations, but we're gonna be shortly behind them here. So as you guys all know, welcome to the Royal Daimar Navy ship Suez, the first aircraft carrier inducted into the Royal Daimar Navy. The Shahs of the Kingdom of Daimar have been interested in naval aviation for many, many years now. Since you guys are all from various different parts of the Kingdom of Daimar, you all know very well that the Kingdom borders the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Persian Gulf, and the Indian Ocean, and is highly dependent upon trade routes throughout the Indian Ocean. And thus, naval aviation has been a high priority of the Navy and the Shahs for many years now. Royal Daimar Air Force pilots have conducted exchanges with the U.S. Navy and French Navy for many, many years, and Daimar pilots flew off of U.S. Navy carriers in the Korean War, Vietnam War, and many other conflicts since the end of the Second World War. So as you guys can see on the map here today, we have the Royal Daimar Navy ship Suez Carrier Battle Group just off the coast of Haifa with the George Washington Carrier Battle Group just a bit further to the west, further out into the Mediterranean Sea. We do know, of course, that uh, the Piranis are going to be launching an all-out strike against the Carrier Battle Groups with their primary target being the USS George Washington. Now, us on the Suez have a key role to play as we're the only ones who have Tomcats with Phoenix missiles that are operational and ready to rock and roll. Thus, we're going to be playing center stage and knocking those Pirani bombers out of the sky before they hit the Vampire launch range line that we can see on the map here as well. 
for the organization of aircraft, you're all going to be launched, and then GCIs, that's going to be Red Crown uh, in the E3, as well as Snoopy in an E2C Hawkeye off of the USS George Washington, are going to send your flight to either Tanker Track 1, Tanker Track 2, or Tanker Track 3, depending on the situation. There are tankers there, and these are also going to be your marshal points to then be vectored from that point on to engage any incoming bombers if the situation arises. Hopefully the Piranhas decide to uh, turn around and head home and not come out to play today, but the intelligence is extremely compelling and so we have to be ready. The US Navy with their FA-18C Hornets are going to be manning the Bar Cap Station 1 and Bar Cap Station 2 to protect the tankers and marshal points as other interceptors get up into the air, get formed up, and get ready to be vectored on to any incoming bombers. Keep in mind here that we have a no engagement zone over the neutral nation of Cyprus. And of course, we don't want to anger the Cypriots or the British by having any uh, bombers or jettisoned weapons or any missiles that may have missed their targets falling down upon the civilian infrastructure of Cyprus. The British and the Cypriots would just not be very happy with that. So we're going to try our absolute best to not engage any aircraft over the island of Cyprus itself. This is going to mean that we have a very, very small window to engage those bombers before they hit the Vampire Launch Range line, where they're 100 nautical miles away from the carrier battle groups. This is going to mean we need precise timing and really, really good job from the GCIs today to allow us to intercept those bombers before they can launch their vampires. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the mission organization for today. We don't have all that much. For the roll call, uh, your call sign is on the left-hand column, your intraflight frequencies in the middle left column, your aircraft type that's been assigned to you, your service that you're going to be flying for, as well as your mission type is on that right-hand column as well. Rules of engagement today are very simple. Uh, visual or IFF ID is hostile required. Weapons are free. Do not engage any enemy aircraft over Cyprus itself. However, if the GCI determines that the fate of the aircraft carriers depend upon engaging targets over Cyprus, only the GCI has authority to actually allow you guys to range out over Cyprus and down any aircraft out there. As I'm sure you're all well aware of, the Piranis have no contention with messing with neutral countries or adhering to any of the international rules of war. So you can bet that there's going to be low altitude uh, flights coming through Cyprus to hide behind the various mountains of the islands to get off the scopes of our AWACSs and off the scopes of our F-14s. So please keep that in mind and please watch out for any giraffe tactics coming up from the floor around the island of Cyprus. Um, you'll also notice that all of the naval assets today all have um, Southeast Asian city names or island names. So we've got Formosa, Kunming, Siam, Rangoon, Moresby, Rabal, Burma. Um, as well as our land-based assets today are Greek gods and goddesses with Hades, Hera, Zeus, and Athena for easy um, uh, distinguishing of where those aircraft are from and where they should be going home to on the radio just from their call sign. So keep that in mind, guys. The air threats today, the IADS threat is nil. However, make sure that if you do get lost, you take some battle damage, something of that nature, you're going to be heading south on a heading of 180 degrees. So that way you don't accidentally stray over Pirani airspace and potentially get uh, engaged by the IADS. The aircraft types we're going to be seeing today out there, most likely going to be Mirage F1s, MiG-21s, 23s, 29s, 25s, along with, of course, those Tupolev Tu-16 Badgers that are going to be carrying the Vampires um, if they do decide to come out and play. Hopefully, again, they decide to go home and stay home and uh, don't decide to come test our air defenses around the aircraft carriers. Moving on, we've got our communications flow. We've got CVN-73 is on 127.5. The RDNS Suez is on 149. Ramat David is 296.5. And Damascus Approach, of course, is on 255.5. Red Crown GCI is on 305.0. Tanker frequencies are listed later on in the kneeboard, and we've got, of course, the reverse and inverse on the recovery ATC agencies section. 
We've got two recovery tankers, S3Bs, above both the George Washington Battle Group as well as the Suez Battle Group. We got Texaco 1 1 on TACAN 33 X ray for the George Washington and 35 X ray on uh, 22, 22.0 uh, for the tanker over the Suez. Navigation is pretty easy. For the U.S. Navy Hornets, uh, your bar cap stations are between station, uh, waypoints 1 and 2. Then the three marshal points are your waypoints 3, 4, 5. And then the original position of the carrier, your home plate uh, waypoint, is going to be waypoint 6. For all other aircraft, marshal point 1, 2, and 3, those are all tanker tracks 1, 2, and 3, are out there as well, with waypoint 4 being your home plate. So that's going to be the last known position of the Suez, as well as, of course, Ramat David if you're coming off of a land base today. Launch order today is very simple, and I'm sure that the George Washington already has their jets up in the air. Uh, so Barcap is launching first to get some uh, protection for our tankers out there. And then number two is going to be any FA-18s will be launching second. Um, as well as F-14s will be launching third. And then any land-based interceptors are going to be taking off fourth as a backup for the naval interceptors. Marshall Point 1 is going to be a probe and drogue tanker, Shell 1-1, TACCAN 12 X-ray at 251.0. Marshall Point 2 is going to be another probe and drogue tanker. It's going to be Shell 21 TACAN 14 X ray at 255.0. And then, of course, we got a Marshall Point 3 is going to be a boom and receptacle tanker for our F 16s. At Arco 11 is going to be TACAN 16 X ray at 265.00. All the tankers, because they are in between the enemy aircraft and the friendly ships, have orders that if they have any enemy aircraft get within 30 nautical miles of them, they're going to book it south as fast as they can to get inside the SAM envelope range of the carrier battle groups and then flow east back to their home bases. However, our Barcat pilots, I'm sure, are going to do a great job in protecting the tankers and keeping a nice space between any enemy aircraft and the tanker flights themselves. So, as I said, guys, short and sweet, uh, let's go ahead and get stepped out to our aircraft, get good to go. Look like the red shirts up on the roof were doing their jobs and should have our aircraft all set and ready to go for us. So, let's go ahead and uh, head on out, guys. Fantastic air. Yeah, I had the same thing. I'm not sure why. You're hot, making. Mm. Yeehaw. Serious traffic, Morris B32 taking up uh, launching position. Copy that, you're cleared to launch from position three. Standard case one departure. So, position at home behind uh, launch spot three. Uh, Roger that, Morris B33. Thanks for joining us on frequency, and you're clear to text. Morris B-32, you're cleared to launch. They should be using their Modex numbers. We're a young Air Force, we're just learning.
After that, Morsby 3-3. Three, three. So this traffic, Morsby 3-2, gears up, wheels up, and uh, flop. Roger that, uh, Morsby flat once you're airborne, you're clear to switch 305.00. on. So is traffic. Uh, is ready for takeoff Clear to launch. Welcome, Sam 1 3, uh, rolling. Careful on the taxi, Oreo here. Sliding around. Okay, Sam 1 3 in the air, wheels up, flaps up. Have that Sam 1 3, you're good to switch 305, monitor our inner flight frequency. Roger. Alright, wings coming out. Make sure we get full flaps. All right, I'm ready to go if you are. Just do a quick control wipe for me. All right, everything looks good. All right, go to mill. Yeehaw. Ears up, flaps coming up. Beautiful, good job. I'm gonna switch this to 305 in the back. Cyan 1 3. Uh, what's your current position and heading? Uh, current heading is 3 3, um, uh, le flight level uh, 1500. Copy that. Red Crown is Cyan 1 1, flight at 3 F 14, Tomcats checking in. Angels 33, and can you give me a heading for Siam 1 1?
Mark that Cyan 1 2. Uh, I've got you eyes on. We're heading 345. Climbing up to 330. Oreo, do you want to just take the interflight frequency, or do you want me to keep transmitting for you? I see that one red cloud. Um, pretty much anything that has to do with our maneuvering, I'll probably call it. I say stuff and whatnot, I'll leave that to you. 5-1, red crown. Copy that. Go for that feedback. I think the 5-1, red crown. Current picture, two groups, azimuth 20. East group, bullseye, 073 for 100. 35,000, track south, hostile. West group, 36,000, track south, hostile. Additional groups monitored. Recommend commit. Additional five, committee. Uh, Sam 13, I'm uh, turning below you to rejoin formation. Copy. Uh, let me know when you're joined up. We're going to then push for a uh, max climb up to Angels 33, current 34. Well, Tau. Uh, 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 what uh, 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 be advised, you're double, uh, you're double transmitting again. Uh, data link channel is 311.3. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we confirm oh, radar is working. Go ahead, Red Crown. Formosa, push north. Push bar cap north, 25 miles at this time. Maintain okay, we got a friendly tanker at our left. Uh, it looks like okay, our is on the clock. You see him on the scope? I'm so used to flying the bug with the squash all the time. I forgot how much power this thing has. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Formosa. Formosa 1-1. One, one. Red Crown, recommend anchor in place. Affirmative anchoring in place. is on. Is there a way I can get it to display on the TID? Could mean two you should do it on the ground. Which one are you set to? We set to 3113. Huh. Maybe try 3037? Yeah, maybe out of range. We should be getting stuff on the data link. Yeah, that's too much. Formosa 1-1, one, one, Red Crown, recommend flow southwest. 303.7 Coming 
one, red crown. Okay, three is joined up uh, on your right. Clear two one, red crown. Recommend that. Gunwing 2-1, Red Crown, three groups, range 30. Two were, yes. Left lead group, bullseye, 104, 15, 36,000, hot, hostile. Middle group, 36,000, hot, hostile. Trail group, 36,000, hot, hostile. Okay, I've got some guys here. Looks like it. Maybe. Yeah, that's what those are. Coming to one, Red Crown, Trail Group and Mill Group, maneuver, southeast. Alright, we're gonna kick up the speed a little bit. We hit one. the tankers before. Uh, I don't think we have time to hit the tankers. Big 29 spikes? Probably Raider 1. Oh, sorry. Probably. Alright, that's another friendly. I'm not getting data link. I don't know what the problem is. Hey, uh, Cyan Flight, are you guys getting data link uh, from the uh, AWACS? Revolve 5 1, Red Crown. Where is that switch? South. Next to the data link power oh, shop, there's one that's in tech or canes. Make sure it's in tech. Make sure it's in tech. I see uh, a normal test south. position. Yeah. Alright, I got the. Uh, yeah, it's in tech. 29 spike right on my nose. I got it locked up. And it's turned on. A firm. It's turned on. In front. Yeah, I'm the IFF in them. Well, it's out. They're Fox returning. Three, and with all one is defensive. They're returning friendly. Red Crown, so I am one one. So yeah, they're friendly. Red Crown. Okay. Red Crown, Burma flight. Well, Red Crown. Untargeted threat call, 20 miles, 023 for 20. Angels 36, recommend immediate commit. We're recommending. Red Crown, Zion 1 1, Mojo. Clam 1 1, Red Crown, stand by. They're going to return friendly. They're returning good IFF returns as friendlies. It might be one of the art cap flights. That's what I'm thinking. And we're just catching them on their south. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Four, one, two, four, seven, seven, one, Formosa, one, one, Red Crown. Go ahead, Red Crown, Formosa. Is it unknown contact way Formosa, out there? One, one, Red Crown. Recommend coming. Way out there? Good looking. Coming yeah, to one, Fox Creek. Stop left. Raw, 1844. Okay, oh, I see him. Let's see here. Who are you, buddy? It's like a friend. Looks like an enemy. One, one, red crown. Hostile leading edge. Bra, zero, three, five. Looks like they're not going to have us commit on them. Flank right. Hostile. Altitude coming up on 33,000 feet. Okay, I see. I see. I think I see Formosa flight. Red 
crown. So I am 1-1. Yeah, yeah. Is that Formosa flight off of our right-hand side? Yes, turned on. I am 1-1, one, one, red crown, affirm. Copy that. Red That's going to be Splash. Coming to one. Coming to one, red crown. Roger, we engage one planet in our, in our location. We're heading Two back towards Red Crown. Ding, 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 possibly a lock. Yeah, I copy that. That's currently Splash. Don't worry about it. Other going on at Red Crown. My Rippon flight still getting spiked. I got uh, tally bogeys three, four contacts, hour not three o'clock. Yeah, that's Formosa, right? Crown, no worries about them. Okay. Red Crown just confirmed that. Four more Formosa flight out there at our three o'clock. They're firing AMRAMs at the moment, so better be careful of that. Roger. Coming to one, Red Crown. Siam flight fence in, takes on Armstrong. Coming to one, Red Three. Crown. Red Crown coming to one. Cunwing 2-1, Red Crown, Furball, Bullseye, 127, 65, 20,000. Leads fest, 15-8. Uh, Red Crown 2-1, do you want us to commit? Uh, Cunwing 2-1, Red Crown, recommend tonight. Okay. Red Crown, this is Zeus, uh, passing waypoint 1. Red Crown, are you in Twiz, or...? I'm in Twiz. One, what is your speed? You're, yeah, I typically build a picture using RWS and then I'll run a form of Twiz when I want to take a shot. Because okay. RWS will detect them easier. Okay. Uh, so we're doing uh, Mach we'll do. 0.9. Red Crown, Burma 4 1. Alright, we got some yeah, contacts off of the right there. Red Crown, Burma 4 1, we spotted a one time enemy fighter looking for additional tasking. Burma 4 1, anchor in place. This is uh, just visual. Uh, uh, one request asking. Dropping two, I cannot hear anything. Be try just fucking overset right right now. I think you should go ahead and turn down. Yeah, I'm not getting anything on my scope at the moment. Well, I've got, looks like in, maybe interference on the triple D up top. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's, look, it's on the DDD, well, though. I, 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 yeah, I can't see the DDD, so. Yeah. I mean, you might be getting jamming strobes from the bombers. Maybe? Let's see. You picked something up there for a second. 155 miles. Red Crown, more speed flight. Yeah. Let's see. Go ahead, more speed. It's like uh, a, I have a it's either interference on the mountains in Cyprus or. Uh, able to hit the tanker, uh, so we're going to. Okay, so that's something. I'm trying to lock him. Can't, can't, can't keep a lock on him. Red Crown, so I am 1 1. Go. Red Crown, so I am a flight request vector. Looks like we're about to tripwire Cyprus. Sam 1 1 recommend flow set. Sam 1 1 flow south. Alright, flight we're right, flow south. south, okay. 3. What's that jet over there? 2.
Red Crown, Siam, one one. Picking up traces of a gorilla group in the vicinity of the northeast of the island of Cyprus. Siam one one, Red Crown, Roger. Uh, Red Crown, picture update. Multiple groups, azimuth one hundred fifty. Leading edge center. Bullseye zero three six seventy seven two thousand track southwest heavy. The Siam one one record. The Siam one one go. The Siam one one recommend flow south immediate. You're coming very close to Cypher. A firm turning south immediately. Our fuel state's got to be lower than theirs, than our wingmen's. Red Crown, uh, suits flight to orbit. Well, they all fixed in about 100 pounds more than us, so we're quite close. Okay, that's not too bad. Red Crown, Athena 5. Athena 5 1, Red Crown. Athena 5 has lost, lost all wingmen, and I'm Scotch. Return to base where we are now we feel. Athena 5 1, Red Crown, Roger. Ray Gun. Got his back, got his back. Got it. Red Crown coming 2 1. Coming 2 1, Red Crown. Roger, that purple is over. We're going to resume our meet uh, uh, up a flying transition. Roger, coming 2 1. Roger. Roger. I recommend reset. Can you go ahead and uh, pop in? Uh, I've got the tanker in the back seat here. Why don't we keep uh, our tack hand on, our TSD on the uh, carrier. Yeah, so that way I can keep situational awareness on where, where I am in relation to the carriers. These guys in front of us are friendlies. Keep in mind, everyone out in front of us is a friendly. They have data links, so Two. they'll know. Yeah.
Right, let's try the auxiliary data link position. That doesn't seem to be working. For most of flight, red I feel ground. like there's something messed up with our eyes. So so for that, can uh, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm currently uh, uh, thinking at the moment. And I'm getting so many bad uh, lag spikes Rick back here. For most of flight, has 16 AMRAMs remaining. Uh, I'm right up here. Interesting. It's probably my uh, internet so connection. It kind of sucks here. Bogey 0234 99. Angels 20,000. Hot hostile type unknown. Recommend commit for ship. Copy that. 023. Well, I guess my job back here now is just pressing the friend button for now and the IFF button. Sure Alright, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Be advised, I hate to say this, but uh, my brother's doing some electrical work in the house right now. Hopefully there's... Oh man, hopefully not. Red Crown, Cyan, 1-1, one, one, uh, request picture. That committing, uh, what's it? Can you just one more heading? Committing. Red one one, red crown, southeast group, bra zero zero eight for one hundred seventeen thousand, flank left, hostile. Copy that zero zero eight, uh, Siam one one. All right, here we go. Zero seven one, red crown. Zero seven one. Is it the zero zero eight? Affirm. Copy. Uh, bulk up. Zeus 7 1, Red Crown. Right, wait, 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 Holy shit. Burma, Burma Flight Red Crown, Bogey 
zero, uh, zero one five four fifty three, Angels twenty five four ship, hot hostile track southwest. Recommend commit. Number four one committing. Holy cow! Oh my goodness! Red Crown, Rangoon two one checking in. Or Cyan flight. Do you guys have uh, eyes on all these bandits? Rangoon Red Crown. Copy that. Go for the, uh, go for the aircraft between the jamming straws. I believe those are the bombers. Alright, they're at 16,000. The range is 83 miles. Yeah, there's multiple groups. So it's a giant gorilla group. What's that? So there's unfortunately low ball fighting shot. It'd be a lot easier if they were up with us. Yeah, let's go see if we can find someone higher. It's 11,000, 16,000, 26,000. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, though. So I don't want to waste Phoenixes on the escorts. Oh, that's a lot of jamming. Oh, shit. Range 76. Uh, you have yeah, Phoenix is selected up front. Negative, stay on. Cyan 1 1, go combat spread. Oh, Phoenix. 3 is, uh, separating a bit to the right to get a better radar picture. Alright, Sam Flight, I see three separate groups. There's a left group, there's a center group, and a right hand group. Do you guys see those? You're stepping on each other. Copy that. Uh, Siam 1 2, take the left hand group. Siam 1 1, I'll take the center group. Siam 1 3, take the right hand group. A firm? Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, they're 55 miles out at the moment. Alright, resource. Siam 1 3, take the center group. Siam 1 1, I'll take the right hand group. Uh, Oreo, come right about 5 degrees. These guys are higher, it'll be better for a Phoenix shot. Alright, we'll have a, uh, sorry. Bring you in flight, red crap. Alright, it's Cyan flight, just be advised, we got escorts with them as well. Flight Boom 2 1, Bogey Dope, 8 ship, 353 for 97, Angels 12, Flow North, recommend. Alright, shoot them when you got them, guys. Buster, we're gonna need you there fast. Alright, your shooter. I got two one copies, each ship, 353. Cyan, 1 1, Fox 3. Roger. Fox 3. Coming 2 1, Red Crown. Lead is. Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to get. Sam Flight, 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 We still have one Phoenix left. I want to lower the closure rate a little bit. I'll just 
hit him on the gimbal with it. Copy that. I want to see if we can get those phoenixes in there before we merge. Yeah, that would be good. This is Zeus 7-3. Raygun, Raygun. Okay, it looks like they're definitely going. So I have one more. Yep, I got him. Uh, we got a group of uh, angels. We have a lot of fuck three. Do us a lot of fuck three. Copy that. Visual merged. Just stand on the second one. Coming to one, Rick. I see a visual one way down low. You see him? Copy. My radar. Roger your radar. Target center group. Eight ship. Two is very defensive. Alright, not shooting at us yet. Leads, Fox three. Two, correct. Blue 7 1, red cloud merge. Oh, that's a uh, bomber. Two bombers. Nice shot. You hit one of them. You hit one of them. They're going down. They're going down. Good splashes. Six is clear. Looks like two sh two kills from Phoenix is off to our right hand side. Slam one one splash at least four bombers. Fox Rangoon two one. Bogey dope three four five. Alright, I see him. Four for fifty four. Angels twelve. That's your target. Uh let's see here. Your radar still? Yep, my radar. Copy that. Six is clear. Nothing on the RWR. You're good to go. We got mid twenty nines to our two o'clock. Spares not working. Noon, uh, Fox 3, currently out. Copy, do you want us to, uh, turn off? Please, please go and go into the bomber. Negative, continue flying north, there's additional groups behind that. No, I'll keep, uh, uh 6 is still clear, 6 is still clear. and somehow we still have a bird. Zero, five, zero. Nice shot. Splash one. Splash one, so I am one, one. All right, we got some on our six o'clock here. Whoa, flares, 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 here we go. All right, never mind, that's a splash band. Fox three. Copy, I'm, uh, Tally, two, two, one. Copy that. I Oh shit, I just got blacked out. There we go. Zero one, uh, excuse me, zero zero one for 31. Angels 12, two ship, target that. Alright, we got a flight of Tomcats heading directly at us. Um, just be careful of that. Alright. My radar, real quick. Oh shit, there he is. Uh, no escorts in sight. Looking. Oh, is that vampires coming off him? He's got vampires out here. Vampire, vampire, vampire. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them. Alright, can we get down low and get those vampires? I don't care about the bomber. Can we get a spare off on those vampires? He's committing on vampire. Yeah, I'll see if I can lock. Alright, I'd go MRL on him and try and get him that way. Multiple fur balls all along the front at this time. Be very aware of your target. 5 2, Fox 3. Red Crown, 86 1, Dougie Dope West 2. My radar? Same one? Your radar. 86 1, Red Crown, retarget, Bra 058. 20, 22,000, flank right, hostile. I'm not getting anything from Copy that. Uh, MiG-29 spikes. I'm not seeing anything. Hey, Cyan-1213, uh, uh, check in. Cyan-1213, waiting for Bogey Dope. 340 for 27, Angels 20. Come left, recommend command. Are you still after those vampires? Yeah, we're going... Cyan-1213, I don't know what speed they're at, so... Breakdown, Ranger 21, repeat last. You're a radar, Ranger 21. Roger, Brian. Oh, he's right behind him. They might be in our doppler. I think so. 
can't really tell if we're picking them up. Yep, copy that. Uh, we got 11,000 pounds of gas, just FYI. Maybe it's a bit Six six they're still off there. Yeah, Shit. Come on. Wrap the block on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Red Crown, uh, this is for most of one flight. Okay. Okay. We have uh, returned to our cap uh, station and we are on station. Formosa 1, Red Crown, Wait. Roger. Shit. Clear on We're flying in formation with him. Just one of them. For that guy, I guess. Still can't get him. Yeah, they're, they're in the Doppler. We're not going to pick them up. Yep. Uh, wanna uh, come off to the left hand side and see if we can pick them up and come back at them. Copy. There's only three of them. Uh, Sam should be able to take care of them, no problem. Copy. I lost sight of him. We got another... Let's see. Trying to keep it right in front of us. Oh, got him. Shit. Had him. Come on. Not your bad. It's, in, it's the radar. Almost had him. Yeah, we're behind him again. No good. Alright, let's break off these guys. We're not gonna get him. Yeah, we're not gonna get him. Yeah, the Ticonderoga is lighting up on him at the moment. Uh, what's that? We got MiG-29 spike? Two MiG-29 spikes. To level it out for a sec. Uh, MiG-21 spikes and 29 spikes. Oh shit, that's massive SAM launches from the fleet. Uh, Alright, so... When you come left... Okay, we're getting jammed again. Alright, we got guys out here. Alright, Sam 1 3 broke out west. Bend is the running 5 ship. Uh, heading uh, 060. Red Crown, Sam 1 1, be advised, you got stepped on. Red Crown, excuse me, Sam 1 1, Red Crown. Bogey Dove brought. Thanks for 44. Recommend come left and commit. Red Crown, Sam 1 1 again, you got stepped on. Did I come left committing Cyan 1-1? Hornet trailing a blaring badger, get out the way! 86-1-Fox-1 Okay, let's see what we got here. He wants us to commit on a group of 284. 86-1-Fox-1 uh, Splash another badger. Uh, roger that. See it. I think the jamming strobe's off to the left. Roger. I'm trying to IFF him, getting no IFF back on him. Is it this guy that's hot on us at the moment over here? This guy? Negative, it's a group of. Oh, the strobes on the left? Yeah, he heard. Okay, Roger. That's gotta be bandits. No one else is gonna be jamming out here. Yeah, I think it's bombers. I want to go nose on him, see if we can fire a sparrow at him. Still a bit of a ways out. Hey, firm. Sam 1-1, be advised, commit group jamming, we have no range. Uh, repeat, bro. Sam 1-1, be advised, commit group jamming, we have no range. Uh, 
Sam on one red crown. Bogey Dope, bra 261 for 44. Okay, uh, we're currently on a heading of 300, right about. They're, uh, track north, we're gonna try to intercept them. So okay, I'm going right ground. Five ship, group is mixed from Angels 12 to Angels 20. Copy that, Siam 11. Okay, he needs to clear about 130, about five on the deck. That's a friendly. Copy that, so they're probably off at our roughly our 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock, probably. Bra, 2, 1, 9, Copy that. 41. Angels 2 at this time. Retro, you know, 5, on the station. Oh, Sam's are really firing up here. Uh, Red crowd. 2, 7, 6. Bra, 2, 3, 2, for 40. Angels 5, recommend flow southwest command. 4, 4, 4, 4. Recon, Raguku 1 committed. Bandit group at Angels 2. Turn down the volume of the raw. Recon, Roger. You see them visual? Uh, Trying to head Siam 1 3. Go for Siam 1 1. one. Copy, you see him? Oh, yep, I see one of them. Oh, missile launch down low. Red crown, so Two missile launches one, down low. Do you see them? They're underneath uh, our nose. Question, Victor 2, Siam 1-1. Okay, that's, those are friendly F-14s down there. So, I would stay high, stay high. Don't get in the middle of that. Uh, could you repeat? Can you IFF? IFFing? Friendly. Sure. Okay. Cyan 1-3, red crown. To Cyan 1-1, 2-1-8 for 26. Roger. Whoa, missile's going after us here. Coming flight. Red crown, merge. Uh, red crown, no joy on those uh, contacts. This is uh, Formosa flight. Formosa, come south, come left. Flow south, eight ship on the deck, Angels five. So one one, red crown, uh, uh, one five, five and three, forty five, five thousand, right, uh, right, right, right. heavy. Red crown, Siam one one, one bogey dope. Well, there's a huge fur bullet, eight o'clock, or er, six o'clock. Yep, 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 I, I would stay above it. Siam one one, bogey dope. 193 for 53, Angels 5, 2 ship, cold. Copy that, Siam 11, 193 for 50, you said, for Siam 11? Siam 11, red count. 193 for 50, Angels 5, AFO. Copy that, down low, roger that. All right, let's All right, uh, we've had a team kill, woohoo. We're state 7 0. Everybody watch your shots. Red cap, red crown, rain good, two three, request bogey dub. Okay, so fifty nautical miles. Bogey dub, bra two zero zero for sixty five, angels five. Two ship, cold, float south. Rangoon two three. Why is red my target. stand so small? A uh, question. Rangoon two three. Red crown. Retarget. Bra three four two. I'm in uh, four, four bar. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Hostile. Yeah, but are you in Twiz or? Uh, 
I'm in RWS. RWS. It shouldn't be that small. Red Crown, Rango 204, Bobby Dog. Now we're a little bit better now. Let's see what we can get out here. Uh, no, we still have Phoenix. Yep, we do. Rango 204, Bobby Dog 342 for 37, Angels 20. Hot Hostile. Recommend to Let's see where we're, where we're at here. You have uh, 107. Uh, give me the uh, the TAC cam. 713, fuel state 6.4. Uh, looks like south for 66 miles. Siam uh, flight to Siam 1 1. We're south of uh, Akrotiri Airfield by 66 miles due south. Ground over 4 1 flight. Roger. Special FF 5, which up was 2 3 4 4 1 6. Well, that wasn't Akrotiri, that was the carrier. Well, we're not south of the carrier. No, I mean the carrier is south of us. Uh, uh, Roger that. Formosa 3 and 4 checking well, out. It was still basically more or less a valid call. I am 1 1. You still have us after that uh, two ship uh, cold against us? Yes, I am 1 1. Red Crown. Contacts have faded. Copy that. Rangoon 2 3. Red Crown. Okay, I got some right, right down on the deck that. here. Let's see what we can do. Rangoon I mean, that's, 2 3. Yeah, that's a bandit. He's right next to the folks. The friendly. Blowing south. Uh, Rangoon 2 3, you, pilot, and Rio were stepping on each other. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's the recovery tanker. Firm. Looks like we've got uh, uh, one four Red zero Crown, four fifty. We got a bandit about thirty miles from us. All right, uh, we know our keeping permission to uh, our our navigation. Welcome. Siam flight to uh, home plate is radial 110 for 60 from the George Washington. Roger. Red Crown, this is Formosa 1 uh, flight. We are low state. Uh, are we still needed? All those guys on front of us are Formosa flight, Red Crown. All hostile aircraft have turned north and are fleeing. Miller time. Recommend RTB. Copy that, RTB. Athena 5, Miller time. Well, sorry I wasn't the best Rio for you back here. Rango 2 4, RTB. Okay, we still got at least three kills. Possibly more, depending on how those Phoenixes did. Yeah, I have no idea what those Phoenixes did. At least it seems we broke up the bombers. So I think only one, one bomber went vampire, and we were right on him. The Sam's definitely took those things out. I don't think the ships got hit. I feel kind of, I could have splashed that bomber beforehand. Uh, 
before he shot, but for some reason the sound weren't coming off the way up. Yeah, that's weird. I'm surprised that we can fire a Phoenix with a degraded INS, but we couldn't fire a, Super a Sparrow? That makes no sense to me, but... I mean, I was holding the, the trigger, because I, I know you have to hold it for a second to get them to come off, but it still didn't happen. Weird. You got the missile prep switch on, correct? Yeah, and they're they're white, like they're good. Bizarre. Unknown. Man, the amount of lag spikes might have made this video not so great, but we'll guess we'll see. Like we're on Rebel 5. Right, Rebel. Rebel 5, just down the two, and a slow missile, and a long fill, Rugged Star Baby. Alright, so what's the status on the boat? Is that group out there? Rebel the guys are Red Crown. All uh, let's see aircraft have turned north or have been shot down. Recommend flow south, Miller time. Again, recommend RTB. All flights. All flights, Miller time. Looks like the, uh... RTB. Yeah, it looks like the uh, carrier itself, uh, the pattern is clear. That's Morrisby flight. They seem to be heading north again. Copy. Uh, where's the carrier? Uh, directly on our nose. How far? Appears to be uh, roughly about 50 nautical miles heading 145. Uh, maybe come right to 155 and intercept the carrier. It's steaming pretty fast. Uh, I think we're doing good on fuel. Awesome. We are right. Don't think that the yeah the skin didn't take on the ship. Dang it! And Red Crown, thanks. Have a nice day. See ya. I mean, none of the ships got blown up, I don't think so. Yeah, that's a win, right? Suez traffic, single ship, F 14, Tomcat, 50 miles out, inbound. TACAN for Suez. There is no TACAN, you have to uh, input uh, cores based off the Washington's TACAN. Uh, which is uh, 100 from the uh, Washington. So, 110 one radial for 60. You land with the, the uh, speed breakout for the cap, right? So now it's so landed. Yeah, you want the speed breakout.
Oh, visual on the ship. No, Jordan. Uh, looks like our 11 o'clock high from our current nose down perspective. Visual. So as traffic single ship F-14, we're going to be entering the stack at position three, uh, Angels 2000. And uh, Suez traffic, I see a single ship unknown aircraft type. Are you in the stack? No enemy aircraft in the vicinity of the Suez. I'm a, uh, I'm a aircraft. I'll copy that. Uh, looks like he's not in the stack. It looks like to be an F F A 18 Hornet. Oh, never mind. It's a recovery tanker. My mistake. Wing in two flight approaching Marshall stack from position two. Or anchor at 4,000. Copy that. Uh, there aren't any in the stack, so. Yeah, Suez 1-1 is going to go ahead and commence from position 3 and uh, land on the boat. We'll see you in, in the Chaha, guys. What's the course up here? Stand by. I'll get it for you. Carrier course is heading 315. No problem. All right, everything is getting safed up in the back seat here. Ba -ba -ba. Good to go. Uh, do you want altitude and speed callouts? Um, yeah. Altitude is probably more important for me. Roger. Okay, Master oh, yeah, Arm is off, thing. correct? Yep, Master Arm off. Copy. Alright, there's 2,000 feet, right at 250 knots. Beautiful. Alright, dropping for uh, 800 feet, 350 knots. Finish. Copy. Up down. Check. Uh, just keep in mind that the carrier is a lot smaller, so may want to be a little wider on the uh, downwind. I'll stop bugging you. No, they call us, just don't expect me to respond because I gotta be on the ICS and whatnot. Okay, no worries. So is traffic, bring it to flight, uh, descending to 2000. Altitude 1200. Deck looks clear. Deck 800 feet, 350 knots. Slam one one in the break. Suez, so I am one three, approach, uh, holding stack, 3000 feet. All right, I see gear and flaps. Looks 
six hundred feet. A little close to the boat. It's gonna be need a hard left turn on this one. Yeah, it's a it's a bug driver problem. Down one a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite on speed. Copy that. Sam one. Uh, if any of the remembers your flight with you in the sack, <laughs> or is it just? Yeah, Siam one one's already commenced. Uh, we're on an extended downwind. We're cut, we're turning base now. Siam one three's in the stack at I believe four thousand feet. On speed now, a little hair slow. 1100 feet. On speed. So, I think we're in 2123, commencing. DLC. DLC is good. 800 feet, 150 knots. So this traffic, uh, more speed flight is uh, orbiting to the southeast, uh, roughly uh, 10 miles. Uh, we're going to enter the break uh, after uh, SIAM flight. Uh, 600 feet, perfect altitude. Speed's good. Right on glide slope. Speed's good. A little slow. A little high. High. Haha, <laughs> nice trap. 